Thank you, Steve. So excited to be here. Uh, so hi, everyone. My name is Aiden Cohn Murphy, and I'm the founder of an organization called Gen Z for Change. And I'm really focused on building generational for pa generational power uh, for Gen Z, which is the most progressive and uh, most diverse generation in history. So I'm so excited today that we're joined by uh, Senator Cory Booker from New Jersey. Uh, Senator Booker has been uh, a constant advocate uh, and a fierce advocate for criminal justice reform, uh, LGBTQ plus equality, uh, climate justice, reproductive freedoms, and and kind of all of the issues that that Gen Z holds holds so dear. Uh, Senator Booker was also one of the original co-sponsors of uh, the Green New Deal and Medicare for All. Um, and, and we're we're so excited to have the senator here for a, a free flowing conversation. Uh, think of this as as a round table, um, and we're so excited to to hear your questions and really get into some dialogue. Uh, so for the for the first question, uh, Gen Z is is kind of is very focused on on breaking breaking norms, uh, bringing in. Uh, progressive values uh, to to more established spaces uh, and disrupting the the status quo. So, so Senator Booker, I, I'd ask you: Are you a disruptor, and if so, how? Um, first of all, I can't tell you how how great it is to be in conversation with everybody today, and I'll say even more so to be in community uh, with folks uh, today. We we definitely are in a culture. Uh, where you see so much of the straining and stressing forces on the fabric of our communities um, that uh, the people who repair that or, or consciously cultivate community to me are, are, are more needed than ever before. And the fact that many of you are doing it on your social media platforms, making people who often feel isolated or put down or um, not included um, the fact that you're creating community, helping people feel seen, affirmed, engaged, activated, um, it's extraordinary. So I'm, I'm pretty psyched to be on with you now. Um, look, the, 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 one of the things I, I found out when I was uh, uh, studying in college was how uh, young people were at the center of every major movement around the time I was there, from the uh, civil rights movement to the anti-apartheid movement. Young people are at the center of great movements uh, for social change. And um, my one of my great heroes, Alice Paul, who was a suffragist uh, from New Jersey, who was the first person ever to protest in front of the White House. Think about that. The first person to ever stand in front of the White House to protest um, was eventually heckled because she was protesting a wartime president, Woodrow Wilson, put in jail, went on a hunger strike before Gandhi, uh, before King, uh, uh, force fed, stuck tubes down her throat, but eventually changed public opinion dramatically, um, was a young person. And so I tried to pattern my whole career out of finding ways to take things that people um, are too accepting of injustices and to shake them up. Um, I'm at the 25th anniversary of my time in public life. I started being the youngest person ever elected in, in my city as a city council person. And immediately I realized that if I did play the, by the rules of a city council person, I may not be able to shake things up as much. And we began doing a lot of crazy stuff just to try to highlight the absurdity of a lot of the injustices we were fighting. And so I went on a 10 day hunger strike in, in an area underneath a highway overpass going to the wealthiest suburbs um, in New Jersey, arguably in our nation, but people would often come up, buy drugs in our in our communities and get right back on. And we disrupted the drug trade and brought uh, national attention to the absurdity of having these spaces that nobody cares about or visits or the media cares about unless somebody's shot. Then I moved into a mobile home and said, I'm gonna really represent my community. So I'm gonna live in a minivan, a, a sort of a beat up Winnebago. And began to notice in my career that the more I did the unexpected, the more I was able to do things that were um, shaking people up because a lot of folks, I think, get tuned out from our, our, from our political civic spaces. I wanted to try to excite and energize people to say that there's a different way, that we have agency and more power than we realize. And that's carried through my, my time as mayor, if you're interested in those stories. But now as a senator, um, a lot of what I try to do is try to think of issues that are, should be at the center of American thought, but often um, are, are just not getting the focus or attention they should. 
And so from environmental justice issues, I, I, a lot of folks were focused on climate change when I got here 10 years ago, but I, I didn't understand that there were communities, often communities of color, that were most being impacted, that the climate change wasn't something far away. It was immediate now, and I wanted to find ways to highlight these unjust areas. A lot of it is, is our food system. Most Americans do not under, know that uh, one out of every $3 in all of our federal government is spent on health care. And it is for diet related diseases because we have these food systems that are designed to make us sick. And then the pharmaceutical companies profit off of our pain and our misery. And they, the absurdities within our, uh, we're doing a farm bill now that we have only 7% of our agricultural subsidies go to the food that doctors, nutritionists, and others tell us we should eat the majority of fruits and vegetables. The rest of it goes to these highly processed sugar filled foods, which is why my kids in Newark walk into a bodega and they find a Twinkie product cheaper than an apple, not because of the true costs, but because our government is picking winners and losers. There's these big monopolistic food companies um, and not picking the health and well-being and access to fresh, healthy food. So a lot of what I try to do now is trying to get people to look at an issue a different way or discover some of the issues that are at the center of the challenges we have in, in our nation.